Hey guys, this is the long-awaited Sonos Roam portable speaker. Very, very small. This is the packaging itself. And today, this video, we're going to focus on unboxing of this two fresh seal unit and setting up, letting you know my first impressions. So a very quick introduction to this speaker. This is the kind of triangular shape, quite small. No bigger than the box, obviously. Very quick run through of the features. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Wi-Fi enabled. With a mic. Mic for virtual assistant, voice assistant, as well as for TruePlay. This logo, if you're not familiar, this is the AirPlay logo. Apple AirPlay. IPX7, which surprises me because I thought it was IP67. But we'll see. This is what is written on the box. Third panel. Top view. Front back view. And the front view with the grill. Works with Apple AirPlay 2. Oh, made for iPad, iPhone, iPad, and iPod. I mean, obviously, it is also working with Android. 2021, this shows that the world is still around. 2020 wasn't the end of it all. Sonos still came out with a speaker. There's a QR code here. If you scan the QR code, okay, I'm going to leave it on the screen. If you scan this QR code, it will bring you to more information on the Sonos Pro. It's a sealed unit. I've not opened it. I've not seen it myself, actually. And this panel here, bold font here, Rome. The portable smart speaker for listening at home and on the go. So what I have here, I have a black one and a white one. Okay. This unit is supplied by Tachuan Acoustic. Tachuan Acoustic, TC Acoustic, is the Sonos dealer for Singapore. So all the Sonos units that you see in Singapore are from Tachuan Acoustics. You get three months of extended warranty. If you scan this QR code, and register the right warranty online or you could just key in this or email but scanning the qr code with your camera should be the easiest thing to do okay and now for the unboxing first time i'm seeing this i've not seen it i've not touched it same as you mm-hmm Oh, ah, okay. Ah, this is absolutely tiny. I'm gonna bring a phone in for comparison. This is the iPhone mini, and this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You know, incidentally, no bigger, no bigger than the Rome speaker itself. Okay. Let's see, it's wrapped in fabric. There's a setup guide here, I think. Let's get started. Let's see, almost never touch all these. Okay, so from press the power button, USB C port for charging, comes with the cable. So, this cable here. It's a USB-A to USB-C. The USB-C is a right angle charger. We'll see about that in a while. Just put it aside. Step two, download the Sonos app. If you are already using Sonos, you would already have the Sonos S2 app. Then just open the app, tap settings, system, and add product. Let's see whether it automatically detects or not. Okay, and these are the functionalities and the buttons on the top we'll look through the actual unit itself so let's put this aside the box let's move the box away very well made box very it looks eco-friendly okay and for the Sonos Chrome itself it is 
absolutely tiny, my god. It feels a lot smaller than how I would imagine it to be. Oh, nice matte black. And this is the back. That's the power button. And the USB-C port, which is why it's right angled. So it doesn't stick out. It goes flush against the body of the Sonos Roam. These are some silicon rubber tips, rubber feet, right? And this is the front of the speaker. So it prevents it from sliding around the four rubber feet. And the grill. This is similar to the grill that is found on the Sonos Arc. Okay, it's triangular in shape. This is the base. This is where the wireless charging is for the base. Okay, the wireless induction coil is probably here. We'll test a bit of the charging in a bit. And this is the top. So let's catch the lighting. If you can see it, okay, this is the play pause button. Double click for skip, triple click for skip back. Volume minus, volume plus. There's a light here for the mic and this is a mic symbol to turn it on and off as well as to activate the voice assistant. Okay, so let's power it on. Before we do that, let me just bring up the Sonos app. So you can see for yourself how this works. Okay, these are the products that I have now. Press and hold the rear button. You've got to press it really hard. Otherwise, it's not registering. Hmm. Yep, and the power is coming on. Okay, so when the Sonos Roam is powered up, first time use, it will be a blinking green. And when it's blinking green, just launch up your Sonos S2 app. If you have not already downloaded it, you have to download the Sonos S2 control app before it will work. So over here, if you go into the settings panel, you'll see that it detects the Sonos Roam automatically. You don't have to do anything, okay? And it detects it. So add to your Sonos, add your Sonos Roam, okay? And it will ask you if you're going to edit and you select continue. Okay, allow. It will ask for location access. Okay, let's allow it. Uh, allow while using it. Getting the Sonos Roam ready. How long is it going to take? Oh, that's really done. Find the highlighted area on the next screen. Tap your mobile device here to continue setup. Highlighted area. That's the four silicon feet. This is the NFC area. Okay, continue. Next screen. It's making some sound. Tap the back of the phone between the feet. Honest. Make sure you're tapping the back top half. Okay. Then there's a chime. Connecting. Connecting Sonos Roam. This is my Wi Fi network. So the NFC works with the iPhone as well. We we'll suppose that it works with majority of the Android phones. Adding. There's an update available for the Sonos Roam that must be completed several minutes before you can use it. Let's update it. Tune with true play. Okay, but this is now updating. So there's a counter here. You can go through, now it's downloading and applying the software. You can go through the different tips. Listen on. Set songs as alarm, group speakers. Without that, save the favorites to my Sonos, personalized listening, automatic updates. I, in general, I don't turn on automatic updates because sometimes I set my speakers to power off themselves at a fixed timing so it might break the speakers if it powers off while it's doing an update so i don't turn on automatic updating check out sonos radio okay so that's it so now we have to wait oh 
before it went one third, I think. It's now finishing the update. Okay, let's see, let's see. Still can't believe how small this is. So this room has been added. You can continue personalizing it. So you can tune Sonos Room with Auto True Play. Let's try that. Can use Auto True Play to adapt. Okay. Adjust the sound. Enable. So that's all you do. Auto True Play is now enabled on the Sonos Room. So you don't actually have to start it with your phone around. It is using the mic on its own to tune itself. And that's it. Getting to know your Sonos Room. Uh, okay, update your products to the latest Sonos software. Let's see. There's another update. Oh, God. Let's go. In meanwhile, while it's updating, let's do this. Let's unbox the other Sonos room, which is the white one. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Is it white cloth or black cloth? Should be black. Oh, white. <laughs> white cloth for the white Sonos Room, black cloth for the black Sonos Room. Okay. Sticker is white. Turn it off. Take it out. Huh. This is not pure white. It is a little bit off white. Hmm. It's actually more grey, more grey, not, not off-white as in beige, but more off-white as in like a little bit greyish. Now, this is white, okay? So for comparison, this cloth is white. The screen is white. This is a little bit grey. Okay. So next to it, that's how it looks. Hmm. Same rubber feet. The rubber feet are also color coded to the color of the unit. This is definitely more like gray. It's not so much white. Never seen this up front before. But yep, here you go. And the updating is finishing up. Maybe I'll do a close up on the grill. This is the grill. That's the button. USB C port. The silicon feet and this is the base this is where the wireless charging happens and this is the top that's the volume button play pause double click forward triple click back mic so this mic is active mic is inactive mic is active Okay, let's put it down. Still finishing up. It's finishing up for a while. It's been finishing up for a while already. I just still can't. I still can't get over how small this is. It is so handy. I, for those of you who have been keeping up with my channel, I have recently reviewed the JBL Flip Five, and I bought that speaker to review because of this upcoming Sonos Room because it has been constantly compared with the JBL Flip 5. It's like a competitor to the JBL Flip 5. It's a great speaker, uh, looks very rugged, but this actually looks much smaller than the JBL Flip 5. Doesn't look like it will hold up to being dropped because the JBL Flip 5 has rubber surrounds, thick rubber surrounds throughout, but this it's like, a, well, it's rubberized, but maybe won't take as much of a knock as the JBL Flip 5 would. Okay, come on, finish up already. I'm going to skip through parts of this video because, God, it's taking way too long. Um, I'm getting a little bit impatient, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up this guy as well. So let me power up the Sonos Rope. And did I click? 
it takes a while for the light to start blinking white. Okay. Once it starts blinking green, then you'll be able to start pairing it to your Sonos S2 app. Okay, finally, up to date. Okay, done. So this is done now. Um, it says, get to know your Sonos room. Oh, there you go. It detected another Sonos room. And, and this time a white one is getting it ready. Okay, so you realize I had to, I didn't have to do anything at all. Okay, so now it asked me to find the same place and tap the phone, ready to scan. Tap. Come on. Scanning already. Scanning already. Make sure you're tapping the back top up. Okay. The tone is actually carries quite a bit of bass weight. I cannot wait to pair and hear something coming out of this. I want to know how it sounds like. And that's it. Okay. Let me go. I have a Sonos Room 53% battery and a Sonos Room 2 55% battery. So they're not stereo paired yet. Let me try one at a time. Oh, actually, before that, let's figure out how to charge this, right? This is at 53%. This is at 55%. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is the included USB C cable. Uh, so on the one end, this plugs to the charger. It's a USB-C A. It is uh, it's not reversible, so you gotta plug it in. Just give me a minute. Okay. And over here, you see this is what I meant, right angle jack. Okay. So just plug it in and it doesn't stick up, it goes straight down. Okay, this is the charging light, the glows amber. And on the phone, you will see that it's actually charging. The battery icon, there's a lightning logo there. You will see that it's charging. Right at the top, you see it's charging as well. Okay, so that's one way of charging it. If you can, you can also use a compatible Qi charger. Okay, let's see, let's see. So I have a Qi charger here. Let's see if it works. Okay, go straight on it. And it starts charging. Okay, this is a fast Qi charger capable of up to 10 watts. Okay, it changes color when it starts to charge. It goes blue. And that's when it's charging very, very fast. Okay, so lights go off. The moment you place it on, it starts charging. Very cool. Obviously works for the other guy as well. Now, what I wanted to test, very interesting, is I want to know, this is the charger for the Apple iPhone. Okay, um, here. Okay, the magnetic charger. Wireless, but with a wire. I want to know if this works. So, let me try. Okay, wrong side. Ah, it works, gosh. That's great. Huh. Now that's a sleek base. Okay. Now if I find some way to anchor this down, okay, to make sure that it doesn't run around. Okay. It's a very sleek charger, right? Just put it on top and it starts charging. Okay, now it works. So this is a big old G charger. Goes on it, it starts charging. And it starts charging for this as well. Oh, sorry, it got powered off. Yep. There you go. Go far charging. Wireless charging. Very, very convenient. So if you're going to be placing this around the house, you could just place it this way and you'll listen to the songs, right? If you want to take it out, just pick it up and go. When you come back, land it back here. That's it. It starts charging. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set these two up in a stereo pair. Okay, if I go to uh, systems, okay, so let's roam, set up stereo pair. Okay, let's add. Do you want to create a stereo pair with the other Sonos Room too? Yes. 
Okay, it will ask facing the front, tap the image that matches the speaker that's playing the chime. So there's a chime coming up now. Okay, it's on the right side. So I click the right speaker. So this may take a moment. Okay, done. So from here on, you'll see Sonos Roam as one speaker. Okay. Here, you see Sonos Roam, one speaker. I think it takes an aggregate or maybe the lower power and reports the battery. So there you have it. This is the Sonos Roam. This is the Sonos Roam in white. I have these two in front of me. Oh, they're starting to attract um, a little bit of fingerprints, oil stains, but you can see the honeycomb structure of the grill in front for extra rigidity. Uh, but, you know, these are the cheapest Sonos speakers that are available today, and they are also the smallest. I can almost go around the whole speaker girth, right, with just my palm. I'm very excited to land my hands on this. Please, if you would like to see more videos, leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you want to learn about this Sonos Room. I'll be doing a few comparison videos uh, with the IKEA Symphonics uh, bookshelf speakers. I'll be comparing it with, of course, the Sonos Play Ones and, uh, you know, the JBL Flip 5, which the market has been saying that these are uh, the direct competitors. Okay, But these are a little bit smaller than the Flip 5s. Uh, of course, the price is definitely pricier than the Flip 5, it being a Wi-Fi speaker and all. Um, but let's see how it uh, stacks up. For today, I won't have time to go in and do all the frequency sweep testing. I'll do that in the next video. If you are interested, stay on, stay subscribed, and I'll see you in my next video.